Oh, I cannot be the only one who thinks Battlefield 5 looks disappointing. Okay, I just did a reaction video to the trailer earlier today, and at first, I was disappointed pretty much right off the bat, but I, th I still was kind of happy for it and excited for it and was really looking forward to it. But after a few hours have gone by and I've rewatched the trailer, the more and more I'm just like, what the hell is this game? Let's start off with something super obvious, is the freaking... SJW bullcrap and the fact that they're throwing a female on the cover of a World War II game. If you're gonna throw females into a World War II era game, they they really need to kind of have it take a back seat. Maybe just kind of be there, be on to the side a little bit, and you see and hear them a little bit. But that's really about it. They shouldn't be like a main character, or if it is a main character, they have a minimal role and they're not on the front line. But when you say that you want to make this game authentic and qu as close to World War II as possible, and then you put a freaking female as the main character who has like a prosthetic arm or something like that in a World War II era game on the cover that is a big slap in the face to authenticity. I'm not somebody who gets diversion or inclusion of any kind. I'm fine with it, but I don't like it when it's freaking in a World War II era game. And like I said, then it was with the prosthetic arm. I highly doubt they had that kind of technology in World War II. It looked like they were like wearing samurai outfits and shit. I don't even know at this point. They say it's World War II, but damn, it looks like a freaking mixture of the World War II in 2025. That right there already sucks. Now let's talk about the gameplay itself. It looks looks no different whatsoever than Battlefield 1. Let's be honest here. What does a guy gotta do to get a modern era first person shooter around here, damn it? I mean, Call of Duty goes from futuristic, futuristic, futuristic to way back to the past to near future. Battlefield was in World War I la the last game. Now, a couple of years later, now we're going to World War II. Can't a guy just get a freaking modern era FPS shooter out there? Don't get me wrong, even though Battlefield 5 looks decent, I guess, it's just, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna get it at this point. I really need to look more into it and see more gameplay and see what's different because if it, if it looks pretty much exactly like Battlefield 1 and there's like virtually no differences, I'm, I'm not even gonna get it. Needless to say, it seems like these first person shooters are starting to let us down recently. Like, even though I personally am hot for Black Ops 4, it definitely was disappointing when I first watched the reveal, like that first, like first impressions. And I know plenty of people are just overall disappointed with Black Ops 4. Then we get Battlefield 5, and a lot of people are disappointed with that as well. Heck, just go to both trailers for Black Ops 4 and Battlefield 1. You see both. Um, the like and dislike ratio bars are both like at a 2-1 stalemate on both videos. Something else I want to point out the cover real quick is about there being a female on the cover. It looked almost like that was like a last minute change because this is an image I came across just recently, earlier today or yesterday, I can't remember which. And it looks like it's a, if a dude on the uh, as a cover of Battlefield 5 and the, both pictures look almost identical. The only difference is the new one that they're going to actually use. Is a female. So yeah, it seems like the whole female thing was like a last minute thing they threw on there almost. So yeah. Do wanted to share a couple of my thoughts in a video, but that's all I have for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do you guys agree or disagree with my opinions right now? Let me know down in the comments. All thoughts and comments are appreciated and all hugs and likes and kisses and I don't even know what I'm saying. Point is, is any kind of love and affection is appreciated, alright? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.